Hello everybody and welcome back to Reality. Today I'm going to be showing you how to test for certain X, Y, and Z values using box selectors and how to use box selectors. Say for example you're making a parkour like this one here and you want to reset someone when they fall. It's really simple. All you got to do is make a box selector and just specify the Y value and just make a giant, giant selector underneath the area and it'll reset you no matter where you fall. So you'll see here for example in this one I've set mine to reset me around Y equals 56 so if I fall off the parkour you see I'm going to get reset here. And it doesn't matter where I fall, I can fall anywhere off this entire island and it will reset me once my Y hits about 56. Another example is our haunted bridge here. This is another box selector. This one's testing for a certain Z value and it has a smaller scope so it won't really affect you anywhere besides this bridge so if I'm doing the parkour there it won't affect me. But you'll see if I try and walk past this bar there is a selector testing for that one exact area. It doesn't matter which point, if I even come off here to the side a little on the bridge, it will still affect me right on that exact line because of the box selector. And these are actually pretty easy to set up. You just need to specify a source and the size of the selectors. So let me go ahead and come to the redstone here. Incredibly simple today. With the parkour, you see the source is going to start in the negative direction, so negative 200, negative 200, and y equals 56. So that's off in that direction. You see those are the negative coordinates. And it just goes an x of 500. The dx is box in the x direction and dz is box in the y direction. So you see the box is just 500 blocks long in the x and then 500 blocks wide in the z. And I don't have any y value specified so it's defaulted to like 1 or 0 or something. So it's that one little bar. So you'll see Right now I'm not getting reset, but as soon as I touch the 56, you see I get reset back up here. And if I TP myself to, say for example, 53, see I'm not going to get reset unless I fly up a little bit. And yeah, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. And yeah, what I'm doing, I'm just teleporting the player right here really quick to, um, to negate their fall damage, because that's what the water does, and then I teleport them back to the reset. Pretty similar thing going on with the bridge also, but instead of starting way back there, it's just starting right around right around this area, and then it's just saying um, move box selector, yep, there's box selector, see, around here it dies, so yeah, it starts right around this area, goes 10 in this direction, and then 10 up, so it creates a little, a little rectangle there, or a square I guess, and it says anything in that square, execute that, so you'll see once I get within one block of that square, I am going to get electrocuted. And see, right around here is where it ends. So I guess I could uh, activate it maybe by jumping off this way. But yeah, it works pretty good, and like I said, these are easy to change. Now, box selectors are really useful, and they can be a lot more reliable than radius selectors in a lot of cases. They make it really easy to test for certain XYZ values. So, yeah, these are, are really helpful. That is all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.